Hi everybody. I have a love, quick love message for December 10th today. And what I picked was uh, the guys. The guides gave me these readings. By the way, thank you for being here. A little sound blessing for you. So the, the moral of the story for the 10th is that somebody really wants to communicate, okay? They really, really do. Look at this. We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but we have you. You have someone has this really strong desire to communicate with somebody, and they want to come forward with some kind of a message. But it's small, and it's about passion. Maybe I'm passionate about you. Um, I'm very lonely without you. You were my wish fulfillment, but I can't seem to get back to you. That was so weird. I'm highly attracted to you. And I'm working on my attraction at this time. Um, I asked the uh, energies of this Ace of, Ace of Swords, which is a very brilliant observation, uh, an opening of a space, mentally an awareness, an alertness, and a, um, just absolutely awareness. And I said, well, this is a eureka about protecting your energy, perhaps what you've worked so hard for, Seven of Wands, to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the energy overriding everything is the Emperor, which is somebody in total control, uh, of possibly possibly in a masculine or an attitude, um, someone in business, someone government, someone who's in control and authority of the whole everything pretty much. He's kind of got his finger pointing up and he's kind of got his finger pointing down to the earth. He goes, okay, I'm in control of your destiny. I am the number four. I'm about you being grounded and I'm about you being ethereal, but I'm also going to take care of your spiritual needs, but you have to be in alignment with yourself. Do you understand? That's what I heard. So I asked who the, what, what, what was, what are you doing? And they gave me this. You're balancing things out to a certain degree. Whatever that is, you may be doubly working to catch up because of the pandemic. You may actually be uh, considering two options, two relationships, but mainly you're keeping things in check and in balance. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I said, why? And they gave me the tower to prevent a tower moment. It just feels like it's always there. So what are you doing? You're taking time to breathe out. You're knowing that your prana is everything about your energy and your attraction, okay? And you're also doing some kind of magic in your world, divination, some kind of understanding that this is your time to step up into what works for you. It doesn't have to please anybody else. This is about what works for you, understanding your higher power, working with it, working with your guides, believing in the metaphysics that is all the one, the one is all. And trust me, I've, I've, there's so much to know. So for right now, as far as love goes, I said, who is this in referencing to specific? And they gave me Cancer Scorpio Pisces hmm, in reverse. Not there. Not able to be there. They could be somebody if they're, a can if they're this person and they have this attitude. They could have a huge ego problem. And that's blocking them from reaching you. Yep, could be. But who knows? And the other person here is you. You're sitting in the power of the Empress, the co-creatrix of your universe. You're creating your life. You're changing things. You're making them what they ought to be. I'm sorry about the lighting and the fact that I'm holding my camera. It just has to be this way. All right, beautifuls, you are creating your own vortex now. You are changing things. You're growing. You're accepting your beauty and your attraction. You're standing in your power, and you're not letting anything in that doesn't deserve you anymore or anything you've outdated or outgrown. It's gone. And maybe you had to retract a love energy from somebody because they did have a haughty attitude and they always thought that they could come back anytime they wanted. 
and just come into your space with total disrespect and arrogance. It happens. You did magic. Somebody else might have done magic. And that is what I see happening. Now, let me have a healing card for this. Childhood to childhood means a spiral of new beginnings. Relationships begin anew every day. Give your attention today to receiving a relationship, initiating another spiral of life into a life that you share with someone. Namaste, my loves. And I, oh, that's my alarm in the background. Namaste, darlings. Uh, listen, have a good day if you want me. Robin's Realm Readings at gmail.com or Robin's Realm Readings dot com on my website. And dog, do I have some great products. I do many readings. This is a mini reading. Love you. Namaste. Bye.